says I just cannot go But there's this one thing I, I, I do know, I know it Yes, God is real I know it because I can feel Took all of your sins away But ever since that day Every, every, every since that hour Lord have mercy God has been real I know it, I know it Because I can feel His heart
hour of celebration, but also an hour of mourning. We look to you, our God, for you to strengthen us and soothe us. We pray that everything that's done this day will be done decently and in order. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'd like to say greetings to each of you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. I am Pastor Kevin Hall of the St. John Missionary Baptist Church here in Richmond, California. And I've served many years as Mother Patterson, Mother Patterson, the family's pastor. Mother Patterson and I had a very great relationship. She was not just one of the many members of our congregation, but she was also the church mother. When I say the church mother, we had many church mothers, but she was the head church mother. Amen. The people at St. John loved her hmm. truly. We loved her too. Like matter, if it wasn't for this pandemic, you know, would be at St. John, and I'm sure that sanctuary would be packed. Because that's how much she was loved. So I'm saying not only was she loved tremendously by her family, she was loved by our church family. I'm sure she was loved by all of you who are here also. Mother Patterson had a song that she loved so much. She loved that song, Yes, God is Real. And truly, that was her testimony. Regardless of what was going on in the world, she believed that God is real. I had the privilege of doing something with her that I'm not able to do with most of our parishioners, and that's to spend quite a bit of time with her while she was on her sick bed. And while there, from the very beginning, to her last waking moment, she was connected with God. She always had that beautiful smile. She always had something very nice and encouraging to say to others. She loved everybody. She especially loved her family. And we recognize her beloved husband, Brother Patterson, was faithful, loyal to her. We recognize all of her children, grandchildren, her relatives. And I want to commend those children for how well they stood by their mother's side. This is one lady that did not have to go through the system. Her family gave her the type of love and attention that very few people would ever experience as they exit this world. So she was able to exit with comfort. And when I say comfort, having the love of her family, but also I say comfort most of all because of the love of God. So I say to this beloved family and to everybody here, if you knew Mother Patterson, your life is better. Because any light that she touched, it could not help but to be better. So we thank God for her. And I say to Brother Patterson, and I said this to him while she was even alive, you blessed to have had a great wife. There are a lot of men out there who have had a wife, but they cannot say they had a great wife. Mm. It's like you hear a lot of women talk about the type of husbands they have, and then some men can talk about the type of wives they have. But with Brother Patterson, he was blessed. He had a rarity. He had a jewel in Mother Patterson. And then I say to these lovely daughters, grandchildren, what a blessing you had to grow up under a mother like Mother Patterson. I mean, to the children, how blessed you were because there's a lot of children that are born into this world that never get to know their mother. There's a lot of children that's born into this world that are not blessed to have a mother at their side like Mother Patterson was to you. 
So even though I know this is tough to let go, I say to the family, you still have a reason to thank God. Amen. Thank God that he blessed you to have Mother Patterson all the years that you had her. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that the days of our years are three score and ten, if by, by reason of strength, four score, which means that even in the days of M Moses, the typical lifespan was 70 to 80 years. So the fact that God blessed Mother Patterson to experience a full life, I know we could wish for it to have been longer, but he blessed her to experience a full life. But what's greater than this? Mother Patterson was a child of God. Amen. Amen. She wasn't one of these Christians that just wore the name. <laughs> she didn't just talk the talk, but she walked the walk. Amen. And when you have a child of God that not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk. The Bible says that when they are absent from the body, they are present with the Lord. So the joy of Mother Patterson is that the body that's in that casket is just a house that she used to live in. Sometimes people live in houses that they can no longer afford. Well, as I shared with the family, that house could no longer afford her. She's moved on now. And when she has gone, there's no more sickness. There's no more crying. She doesn't have to deal with the pain. She doesn't have to deal with this pandemic. There's no more death. Back to what I say to Brother Patterson, I say to the daughters and all the grandchildren and everybody here who loved Mother Patterson, if as much as you loved her and as much as she loved you, if she could come back at this point, she would not. One moment in the presence of God is better than a lifetime down here. So Mother Patterson's message to everybody whom she loved and everybody that loved her is that as much as she loved you, she cannot come back to you. But here's the good news. You can meet her. The way to meet her, you have to experience the same God that she did. When I say the same God, I'm talking about the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary, was buried in a burial tomb, and then got up early on Sunday morning with all power in heaven and in earth. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's the passage that I read to Mother Pat Patterson the last time that I saw her. Committal. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something different. I want the three daughters. Use the three daughters. Give each of the uh, I want the three daughters to participate in. Give each daughter a flower. Sit down. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God in His wise providence to remove from this world the soul of our beloved mother, we therefore commit her body to this place of her choice. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. 
looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who one day shall come back for his church that's without a spot and that's without a wrinkle. I heard a voice from heaven saying, right. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. From henceforth, they shall rest from their labors and their works shall follow them. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we proceed, we trust that the soul of Mother Patterson is safe and secure with thee. And I pray your saving power upon everybody here that may not know you personally. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Says I, I just cannot go. 